if you truly want real and lasting success, build a fortified yet fluid mind, one that accepts what it cannot change, that sees the real value that obstacles bring, that understands that joy comes from doing the work, a mind who isn't stuck in contemplation, but initiation, who realizes there's always more to know, a mind who knows its cause, and keeps the main thing the main thing. While others may crumble under pressure, you stumble, catch your footing, and persist. First, you must realize what's in your control and what's outside your control. Our mind is up to us. The outcome isn't. Up to a point. The middle ground is our realm of influence. Our actions fall in this area. What you need first to maintain and achieve success is to realize what's inside your control and outside your control. What resides within your mind, that's up to you. That's under our control, and we only lose it when we give it up. Everything else that isn't within our mind isn't up to us. No matter what others may say about you or to you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to have an effect on you. They're just words, and if they had spoken in a different language to you, you wouldn't understand them, and therefore not worry. If you feel a certain way, it's on you and your mind to change that. You have it within you to adjust your perspective, to be in a situation that's high stress and high pressure, but to you, it just feels like another Tuesday. Rule over your mind and guide your actions. The outcome? It isn't up to you. The outcome is swayed by our actions, but the results can be swayed by any external influence. Do what you can, when you can, with what you have. Then let it go and let it be. There can be circumstances that are already overwhelming. Then our mind comes in and makes it all much worse. Instead of seeing the event for what it is, our mind sees it for what it wants it to be. For this lasting success, just observe. Take it in and see it for what it is. Don't let your subjective mind come into play for these intense circumstances. Use the observing eye, seeing things as they are, instead of the perceiving eye, seeing events for what we feel they are. Take the you, your judgment, out of the equation for now. Observe. Don't opinionate. Take it in as it is not as your mind makes it out to be. A lot of what we say yes to doesn't advance our cause, doesn't help us improve, and doesn't bring us a sense of fulfillment. And yes, this does include helping others out. If you were to make a calendar of your day, this will bring to light the things that don't matter. It may be unnecessary meetings. It may be helping someone out when you already have a lot on your plate. If it's not advancing your cause, helping you improve, or bringing you a sense of fulfillment, it might be a no. Use your judgment. Determine whether this needs your time and attention. And if not, then say no. Your time is valuable too. The more we say no to, the more we realize how many tasks didn't require our attention. We open ourselves up to new opportunities that otherwise would go unnoticed. The potential for further success on the rise. No matter where we may be in life, there's always more to learn. A key to success, endlessly acquiring more information. While others are stuck in the old ways, you're ahead of the game. If you think you know it all, you won't make it far. Failure is creeping up behind you, and you don't even know it. If you want to attain success and maintain it, always be learning. Stay a student. The more information you take in and learn, the more you know, and the more you realize that you don't know. The humble learn and succeed. The arrogant remain ignorant and jump into failure. Every man I meet is a master in some point, and in that I learn of him. If this makes no difference, then why perform the task? If there is no sound reason for this action, don't initiate it. While there will be times where you act on a task that isn't towards your cause, maybe to take a small break, or because it needs to get done, despite not being for your cause, that shouldn't take up the majority of your time. If you want success in whatever you're pursuing, you need to build towards it. Do what's necessary, when it's necessary, and leave it be. And pick up on the next work that will guide you towards your dreams. Be the person who focuses on the work, not the outcome. To achieve your defined success, do what needs to be done. Live up to your vision. Do the work and become the person you set out to be. Getting in your proper sleep is important. A drowsy mind isn't sharp and will interfere with our work, but so will staying in bed pass what's necessary. Sleep, but only the amount you need. It's the same with getting up early in the day. Wake up early, but not so early that it gets in the way of your productivity. No matter what time you wake up, just get to work. You've rested long enough. You're over your quote on sleep, but not on working. The temptation to lay in bed and stay in is strong. Let your ambition for your defined success be greater. There may be side projects, yet we must not forget that the main task is what fuels the rest and fuels our spirit. No matter what else you may be working on, never forget the main task. Everything else is play with little purpose. Our main task is what helps us to realize our purpose. Each action towards your cause is an opportunity to feel fulfilled. Yes, we do need breaks to avoid burnout, 
but we also have other things to get done. But no matter what, we will get work done for our main task. This is why it's important to say no to what doesn't matter. It opens up our time, attention, and creativity for our cause. No matter what you need to do each day, no matter what, keep the main thing the main thing. Doesn't matter the environment you're in, you will get some work done. Doesn't matter the circumstances, it doesn't prevent you from initiating some form of action. Advance yourself in any way, in any place. The work, it just wants to get done. It doesn't care about how you're feeling that day, or whether you had a rough start to the day. If the conditions to do work isn't ideal, okay, that doesn't prevent you from getting something done. If it's a bad day, it's even more important that you show up, in whatever way you can. You have an attitude that will overcome any hindrance. You have a calling that only you can work towards. You have a purpose, a reason to produce this important work. No one else can do this, just you. You have a cause that's greater than any setback you have to the day. If you want to achieve your defined success, the best thing you can do is show up and create. To achieve more with less resistance, make your actions easy and repeatable. The building blocks of success becoming second nature, entering the state of flow and connecting to our work, effortlessly moving us out of the zone of aspiring and into the domain of success. We are creatures of habit, becoming what we repeatedly do. If we truly want to achieve our goals, we need to make our actions visible and easy to repeat. Not just any action, but the action of our main work. When you wake up, there's no question on what needs to get done. It's actually getting done without needing you to think about it. You instinctively move. For lasting success, make the actions of your cause become second nature. Absolutely nothing is getting in our way of achieving our defined success. There's always ways to adapt to our circumstances and keep advancing. Instead of going straight, we go around or under or over. Next time we face a similar challenge, it's easier to overcome. Even more than that is growing because of adversity. This challenge becomes fuel for better progress. It shows that we can do this, that we are capable, that we do have it within us to persevere. Only after we've achieved success do we look back and love everything that we faced because it brought us to this point of achievement and fulfillment. And if we're not there yet, meaning looking back after we've attained success, we can adopt this Amor Fati mindset beforehand, loving everything that comes our way. Whatever stands in our way becomes a way, an opportunity to grow from this challenge. It's adopting this positive attitude that everything can be used as fuel to further our ambitions. Whatever happens, we love it all the same.